Mavis, Mavis. Mavis, get me this one. You can't go wrong with peekaboo. No, you could go wrong with peekaboo. Very, very wrong with peekaboo. How much is it? Oh, hell no. I'm not paying $100 to replace some rag you claim was a shirt. This floor is too expensive. Come on, let's go find the Husky Teen store. Uh, I, excuse me? Uh, are, are, you, are you Mavis Ray? Uh, yes, yes, this is Mavis Ray. Grammy Award winner, singer of Don't oh Hide God. Love, and my menopausal friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, could, could I have your autograph? No, darling, I, I'm not doing that. Oh, no, no, just take, it'll take a what few seconds. What did I say, but... darling? I said, no, darling, I'm not doing that. Well, come now, here. Now, what? What? <laughs> now, I said, thank you, have a nice day. Now, walk away. Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> Mavis. What? How could you? I mean, let's be real. It's not like that happens every day. Listen. That is a part of my life that is behind me. Mavis, there is no greater gift than celebrity. People like you before they meet you. I mean, for someone like you, that's got to be a big plus. Let me tell you something. I don't live that way anymore. You know, I just want to be like everybody else. I want to be an everyday, normal black woman who shops in a store. Okay. You understand that? Yes, I do. Because I know the gentleman over my shoulder understands. Who? The undercover security guard who's pretending to look at the leopard skin drawers. I should warn him. They ride up when you walk. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna teach you a little something about living in America. It's called racial profiling. Now watch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Much wow, you're so right. Uh, can I have a go? Yeah, sure. Okay. Natural black trumps possible terrorists every time. <sighs> hey, what if we're at the airport, huh? huh? We have you beat there? Not an airport gift shop. <sighs> your neck. What? Oh. It's a belt I tried on. But did you pay for it? No, I forgot all about it. No wonder they profile your people. It's genetic. You do it without even knowing. And you know something else? We're violent. We do a lot of stuff without knowing. Look, see that? I didn't even know I was going to do that. Come on, we got to go back in. I, I can't walk away with something like this. accidentally carried this outside with me. I'm just bringing it in. Ma'am, can I see a receipt for the belt? I don't have a receipt. I just told you. I'm sure you have a very good story. Yes, sir, but... are you implying that she's not telling the truth? That she actually stole this? I'll have you know, this is not just any old black woman. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to come with me. Ah! Hey, y'all, see what? You see that? You see, touch me. Why don't we try and clear this up in a more private place? I've got a better idea. Why don't you just slap the handcuffs on me and take my black ass off the jam? Get your hands out my stuff. Everyone entering the store is subject to a bag search. I want to speak to whichever one of you is the good cop. <laughs> you. This is Mavis Ray. She is a pop legend, so you better watch it, good cop. <laughs> Bad cop, do what you must. So, you're a celebrity. Yeah, I want a Grammy. You better do a body search, too. Um, but you? Shh, Mavis, please. What if they have electrodes? No, 
Nassim, we have rights. And I have sensitive genitals, maybe. <laughs> Look what I found. A flask and some pills. You just take your hands off my stuff. And what is this? If you have to ask, you are too young to know. Can I get my phone, please? Give her the phone. Ah, uh, phone? Uh, now you boys are in trouble. She's calling in the big guns. <laughs> Hello, Courtney? Courtney? Is it the best you could do, shut Courtney? Up, shut up, shut up. Mm. Courtney, you'll never guess where I am. Yeah, but which jail? <laughs> Uh-uh. No, we fighting it. Mavis, I hope this teaches you a lesson. About what? I did not do anything. <laughs> you do believe me, don't you? Well, that's immaterial. As your attorney, it is my obligation to act as if you were innocent. As if? As if? It is your obligation, my brother, to believe me when I tell you I'm innocent. <laughs> what you're supposed to do. Where are you going? None of your business. Mavis, you walked off with my pen. Are you implying I was trying to steal your cheap pen? <laughs> Just for that, I'm keeping it. Mavis, 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 I'm in the newspaper. What? Look, page six of the post, next to Larry King weds during bypass surgery. <laughs> listen, listen. One hit wonder, Mavis Ray, must be on hard times. Not only was she caught trying to steal a $200 belt from Langs, but the search revealed her purse was filled with sex toys, prescription drugs, and a flask of cheap liquor. I'll have you know that was top shelf liquor. <laughs> Here's the best part. She was apprehended with an unidentified Middle Eastern man. That's me! <laughs> you can't buy that kind of publicity. Let me see that. Give me. Whatever happened to innocent till proven guilty? Well, of course you're guilty. It's in the paper. <laughs> Jujubee, go change the urinal cakes. We're fighting this, Courtney. I mean, my God, it's classist, it's sexist, it's racist. It's homophobic. How is that homophobic? The gay boys love me, child. <laughs> Don't worry, you're getting it right back. I'm not the one with the sticky fingers. Look, I was just trying to return a hideous little belt back to the store. Mavis, who cares? Things are expensive. What's the big deal with a little five-finger discount? Well, I don't want people thinking I'm a thief. I want them to know I'm innocent. Mm-hmm. Did you get anything in my size? <laughs> well, you cut it out. I was trying to do the right thing. And look what happened. They dragged my good name through the mud. My God, if I sink any lower, I could run for governor of California. Good morning, Lamont. Look, I said no to Us Magazine. What makes you think I want to talk to a bathroom rag like Entertainment Weekly? <laughs> no, let me say this to you. The only thing y'all need to do is make sure your pages are more absorbent. <laughs> talking about? They talking about you on Groove 94.7. Your track is on heavy rotation. It's 1986 all over again. Yeah, they said that you stole a $500 belt and then you bitch slapped a security guard with your secret thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, girl, this could do things for your business. You know my girl, Chandrella? She do my nail art. She said that 50 Cent wouldn't be worth a quarter had no one pop all them caps in him. Look, I don't need that kind of attention. I don't want that kind of attention. As a matter of fact, I'm going into seclusion. I'm invoking a complete media blackout. No one can see me, OK? Good morning, Lamont. Yes, it is. 
No, I'm not interested. Look, who is this? About the music? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't... You're providing wardrobe? <laughs> Ralph Lauren? <laughs> Double R Purple Label. <laughs> oh, no, I like that. No, I like that a lot. Now, no, wait, you, you, you say you're going to tell my story, right? You're going to tell it the way I tell it to you? Well, no. No, I'm not sure. Let me just, you know, let me think about it. You know, I have to check my schedule, see my availability. No, no, that's okay. Thank you. No, no, thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Mavis, huh? you gonna do about the music, girl? Well, I just told him I would think about it. I thought you were in seclusion. With a complete media blackout. <laughs> well, I am. But if you want to set the record straight in the music business, you do it on About the Music. Yeah, it's true. I saw Liza and her husband on it trying to set the record straight. The Mormons couldn't set that record straight. <laughs> I haven't seen that outfit before. Did you steal it? What? I said it's very slimming on you. That's better. Oh, girl, you better look at your baby brother. He looks hotter than that raw and order guy with the melon booty. I've been practicing my look of dignified authority for the camera. <laughs> you better jump back, little Sheba. You done lost your mind. You ain't gonna be on camera with me. As a matter of fact, none of y'all gonna be on camera with me. That's true. None of you. Why would you want to be on camera? That's how people find you. Why don't you guys go next door into the kitchen while me and Mavis get uh, camera ready? Look, Nassim, you need to go in the kitchen, too, because none of y'all are going to be on TV with me. I don't know how to say this to you. It's not going to happen. Excuse me, but I am your character witness. I was there when you stole the merchandise. You better rephrase that. I, I was there when you allegedly stole the merchandise. Look, let me make this clear to y'all. You're not gonna be on TV with me. This is not about y'all. You cannot ride to fame and fortune on my coattails. May Ray, I hear you, girl. I just thought I could get discovered. You wanna get discovered? You need to go be on one of them reality shows where they eat bugs and cry in the hot tub because the man didn't pick them. <laughs> this interview is all about me clearing my name. It's gonna take the whole hour. Baby, it's gonna be like a miniseries. Oh, look, Mavis. Look at that, your name on a chair in masking tape. You, uh, you ever miss being a celebrity? Oh, no, child. All those years on the road, waking up in cities you don't know the name of, next to men whose names you just can't recall. <laughs> Trying to figure out why there's a dog collar and a whip at the foot of the bed. <laughs> no, I don't miss it at all. Hello, Miss Ray. I'm hey. Kit McDougal from About the Music. I recognize you. It's such an honor to meet you. Yes, it is. I think it's terrible how you've been treated. The weight of your accomplishments tarnished by this petty accusation, it's so unfair. Speak on it, girl. You're right. <laughs> so why don't you just make yourself comfortable at the oh, bar? You'll right. look very natural. Thank you. And act like you're talking to a friend, which you are, because I'm such a fan. Well, I'm such a fan of yours. <laughs> now, do you mind if I smoke? Oh, of course not. I mean, I wouldn't have even started smoking if it hadn't been for you. <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> well, really, I only shop in the most exclusive stores where I have a relationship with the proprietors. Well, here is you your uh, beverage. Oh, hello. I am the unidentified Middle Eastern man. For personal appearances, please go to tanoliveboy at tanoliveboy.com. Excuse me. You see, I'm doing an interview here? Always. Excuse yourself. Oh, quiet, you. Get out. <laughs> okay, where were we? I'm so sorry. There must be something in the air. <laughs> anyway. You know, I was in there. I was trying clothes on. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm showing empathy. <laughs> Take your empathy outside and show it to somebody who wants to see it. <laughs> now. <laughs> Look, kid. <laughs> I'm not saying it was racial profiling, but when I, a black woman, entered into that store, someone decided to stop me, a black woman. Why? because I had a belt that was also black. Thank you.
you for your time, Mr. Captain Johnny. Thank you. Uh, look, I just want to say something about this uh, shoplifting charge. It's so unfair. Let me tell you what happened. It all started when she took my shirt. She stole it? No, 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 no. She didn't steal anything. Because, you know, we, we share. You know, that's, that's why I love her. Because we have nothing to hide. We don't hide love. Oh, my, don't hide it from the car. Special night. We're serving half price drinks. Mr. Mavis Ray's special special. Come on, let's tie one on and get a party going on. What's happening, Mrs. Mavis? It's my nephew Daryl and his uh, landlord, Brad. <laughs> Welcome to the Napkin Dugout. We are huge fans. Oh, and we totally support you. What you do in your personal life is nobody's business. People just love to pick on celebrities. Yeah, and the bigger you are, the more they pick. Tell me, I do extra work on Sex in the City, and it's like living under a microscope. <laughs> Tonight on About the Music. Oh, y'all, shh, it's starting, it's starting. One hit wonders of the 80s. One hit wonders? I, uh, I, I thought you were getting your own special. And well, they never told me I was going to be sharing my special with some has-beens. Next up, Tony Basil, Men Without Hats, and Vanilli on About the Music when it continues. And that was the last song he sang as he passed out on the bathroom floor. <laughs> more depressing stories must we suffer through? This is interminable. Yeah, Mavis. We came here to hear your depressing story. <laughs> oh, stop it. Just stop it. Next up, a once promising career that nosedived. Oh, girl, that could be you! Before finding fame and fortune as a member of the Ebony Blackbirds, Mavis Ray sang backup for a galaxy of rock stars. Yeah, Mavis Ray. She was the original brown sugar. Look at him. That's my friend Keith. You know, we were tight. We were tight. <laughs> Unable to duplicate her success, the singer fell into deep despair. Oh. Made us no, and I didn't. You're not happy. You in denial. You say one more thing to me, you're going to be into Hudson. <laughs> when a celebrated person like Miss Ray falls out of the public eye, there are periods of deep depression. Who is this bitch? But when I couldn't find the guitar in the morning, I wrote, you can't always get what you want. How would he even remember? He was high the whole decade. <laughs> yeah, I know Mavis Ray. She was a guest of mine at my house in Switzerland. If you see her, ask her what happened to the Oscar and the gold albums. She said I misplaced them, but I reckon she melted them down to make that ring of hers. This is outrageous. Let me tell you what happened. It all started when she took my shirt. She did not ask for it. Mavis just takes whatever she wants. It's so unfair. I told you not to talk to them. Oh, chill, y'all, chill. That's me right there. Oh, yeah, you see, the thing about Mavis is, if she gonna steal something, she gonna steal something big. <gasps> Mary, I didn't mean it like that. Her innocence? Well, I'm her attorney. It's my job to think she's innocent. They took everything we said out of context. How are we to know they were going to do that? Because I told you they would. Well, they, they told us that we'd be helping you. Yeah, but did you? No, you didn't. You just came off like a bunch of babbling fools. Hopefully my interview will straighten it all up. Next up, the German singer Nana, who thrilled us with 99 Luftballoons. <laughs> Mavis, I'm so, so sorry -o. <laughs> Phil Collins. Well, Phil, it's all over now. <laughs> Mavis, I'm not speaking to you. Mary, we just want to say Don't that we're very to sorry. from you. But there's good news. La, 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 la. <laughs> Mavis, I think you want to hear this. The charges have been dropped. Apparently, you're innocent. Oh, apparently. That's what I've been saying all along. Really? That's so funny. I didn't hear you say that on television. I didn't hear you say it either. And I especially didn't hear you say anything, my brother. Now, why didn't you believe me when I told you I was innocent? History. History? I should knock the color off your cheeks. This was just delivered, baby, dear. 
Thank you, Shanene, my only friend. I would go to the grave for you. I know you would, girl. It is from Keith Richards. Really? Mavis, life's a bitch. Keith. <laughs> Single malt whiskey. Now that's a man who knows how to apologize. <laughs> Shanene, half the bottle's gone. <laughs> You better get my ear. This is about one thing and one thing only. Me clearing my mind. The gay boys love me, child. I mean, love me. Do they love you? They love me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> 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 <laughs>